All right, what's good YouTube is Jay here. I wanted to say thank you so much for all the love and support on the recent No Man's Sky video. I didn't expect it to actually do as well as it did. I know that's a typical YouTuber thing to say, maybe even a phase Jev kind of thing to say, but no, dead ass, I didn't expect it to do as good as it's been doing. Unless it's usually like Star Wars content or maybe that rare occasional Yu-Gi-Oh video, most of my videos outside of the Star Wars Empire War stuff just do not pop off, which is okay. Most people sub to the channel for Star Wars content anyway, so I don't blame you. If you don't want to watch this shit, don't watch that shit. I, I completely get it. But at the same time, if you want to check out some new stuff, watch that shit. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my complete revamp remaster of my freighter. In the last video, I kind of showed you what my freighter was looking like on the interior. Nothing special. Looks like probably every beginner freighter to start off with. I haven't done a single glitch in this game. I don't like doing farming glitches, money glitches, where you just rack in hundreds of thousands of credits an hour. I think that shit's boring. I've just been saving stuff and doing missions, sending my fleets on expeditions. The expeditions are technically free money on paper. But I had to go through the whole process of working to save up all the ships, building proper command centers and stuff to actually send them out to do those said missions, build saving up fleet fuel, everything. So I still work towards getting to that more passive income system. Ignore in the right corner. Hey, one of my frigates is heavily damaged. I got to repair it, but I, it, it wants to use a metal I don't have, which is silver because I'm rebuilding the entire freighter. You have to build everything with silver in this game, unfortunately. So. Let's take a look into the new freighter. As you can see, things are already different off the rip. I got really, I'm getting really creative with all the prop uh, placements and whatnot. We've already got a very new view from the right off the rip. We got things color coded. Uh, we'll just throw this one out, this door out the way really quick. This is still that platform area that came with the ship, but I'm building like a service bridge that I'm going to use for other things later. We're going to do this in first person so we can get a better view of everything. So that's just an exterior. Um, repair platform kind of thing that I'm working on there. But to the right, we've got the fleet command center. The fully customized with the props and stuff, by the way. I've been placing things all over walls like fans, tech things, you know, to give it some more flair, some more realism. But we've got six uh, navigation computers for all of our fleets. I originally had eight, but it just didn't look right. And I wanted to change some things up in the room a little bit. I tried to make this as realistic as possible to some real kind of fleet command uh, sensor but we've got you know tables and stuff over here storage units just random crates things you would see in the background of pretty much any science fiction games uh ship you've got computers and stuff taking on like the big monitors shrunk them down into these little sizes you'll see a bunch of these all over the place this might be a decently long video for this tour i've stuck monitors all over the place fans all over the place just give it some oomph, some character you know we got monitors all over the place lights although i don't like how things just kind of float off of the wall sometimes i'm still trying to find a work around for that it's kind of annoying really but i just got real crazy with the props throwing things in corners making it look realistic just random you know junk that you would find in a, in a in a ship that's just sitting around just to give it that like i said that little oomph of realism got a ladder over here you know we broke a light up here gotta fix it probably should put another one over here to give it a bit of a more realistic approach but this is what we're looking at right now and this guy is uh hello there so moving on forward uh, we're gonna go out of this room for a second. I know there was another door over there, but I'll show you where that leads later. We're gonna enter this main area. We've got one of our quest givers. I just, it just clicked in my head that he literally is facing the complete and polar opposite direction. We got one of our command, uh, one of our, uh, quest givers, attendant Taki. He gives us, he gives us a bunch of quests right now. Uh, one of our scientists, analysis entity, uh, Amir Metask, I don't know how to pronounce his name. These guys are just hanging out over here. I put them in these rooms because their rooms in particular give some really nice designs for these corners they don't really look good in the open space in my opinion so i figured these two corners would be perfect for them down here we've got the main hold lighting fixtures all over the place just to get that atmospheric bit of realism kind of down flags placed everywhere a couple of uh planetary probing tables to give more of like a cic a combat information center kind of feel to it um just to, uh, it, like this isn't a true combat information center obviously but i feel like it added a bit more uh, color and character to the whole area you got bench or t uh, chairs couches whatever you want to call them over here this is just kind of what the shot looks like i still don't know why that light is out i've replaced it up there like three or four times and it's still dead so to the left we've got uh our weapons guy and our exocraft guy from the previous video this guy's actually new here uh, we've got a couple of stellar extractors don't really use this thing too much like I probably should But I figured it'd be fitting for the guys that work with a lot of heavy equipment I thought about putting it with the refiner area, but the refiner area is a little congested right now um, And you'll see why in a minute. So we've got these two guys a little walkway right here just for the heck of it uh, We've got a back entrance to our teleporter 
Um, and overall, that's just that little area. Like I said, I got crazy with the props, started slapping them all over the place to give this place just more character, make it look like it's lived in, you know, not like just a clean slate of a ship. Uh, this 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 area right here, this little walkway, I thought it just looked cool like that, so I left it alone. I tried to make these as symmetrical as possible. So there's two on that side, two on this side, but I kind of made a bit of a mistake, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Behind us, we've got our save point and our exocraft terminal, which will allow me to basically teleport my exocraft to any planet within the same system as my fre uh, freighter. So I just threw this back here because I thought it looked pretty neat back here. Then over here, we've got some refiners, the same refiners from earlier, and we've got these refiners over here. So two over here, two over here. Moving on from these areas, that's pretty much it for this back part. Like I said, we've got all these cool uh, containers and stuff and the weird lighting effects kind of happening in here. In this area, this is gonna be the beginning part of our crew quarters. We'll start up here first though. This is the crew lounge area. I got uh, really creative with some of the prop placement for these containers, just to make them look, just to get the wall a little bit more livery, more color, you know, make it look like these are cabins and stuff. But this is the primary crew quarters area where you come in here, you, you sit down, you drink, you hang out with the homies, you watch some TV, play some games on your computers maybe, uh, you know, support your local Corvax with that flag over there. Uh, here's just another little main desk area where maybe like the commanding officer sits when he's just hanging out. Uh, me, in this case. And uh, yeah, it just adds a little bit of color. This looks like a room you would probably sit in on like a, maybe a space station or something. And that's kind of the vibe I wanted to go for. I know this is a ship, but having a proper living quarters like this is just, in my opinion, very, very necessary. And I think it turned out really well. There's still a few more props I kind of want to put in here but i think this looks really good in its current state so that's that room over there moving on this is the entrance we just came from by the way so there's this hallway right here we've got bedrooms i've been getting really creative with the bedrooms slapping monitors up here to make them like tvs maybe uh just putting a couple of these things up here giving it some pizzazz making it look like it's a room that's lived in it most of them are all pretty unique i don't have them really set to a standard just to make it look like you know all my crewmates are different they have different tastes different ways they want to have their room set up so i think these are all looking pretty cool we've got a few of them actually i think we've got like six there's another one right here i'll just do a brief glance of them because they're all different but they still share a similar layout i guess <laughs> two one bed on the left one on, one bed on the left one on the right moving into here another little micro crew lounge area don't feel like hanging out in that big room that's perfectly okay you hang out back here uh, it doesn't have a door. I don't think it's really necessary. It's not meant to be like a private space. Just in the crew lounge area. This is an empty bedroom. Got to furnish it, but this is what it looks like before we do our furnishings. Moving down here, we've got another bedroom. Again, every room is a little different from the other one. People have different tastes, especially aliens in the Euclid galaxy. This is this room right here. <laughs> Moving on over here, we got another room. Hasn't, I haven't really finished working on it, but it's pretty plain, just, you know, kind of generic. This one has a window. Not every room has a window. I know some people that probably wouldn't want a window in their bedroom, but you can kind of see the fleet from up here, which looks really, 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 really cool. A couple of the uh, industrial freighters around here. We don't really have too many combat for, uh, freight, or frigates, I'm sorry. We don't have too many combat frigates in this fleet, unfortunately. We do have decent, we do have a decent number of industrial uh, freight, uh, frigates. Freighters, frigates, whatever word it is. We have a few of them. Some uh, exploration, uh, data capturing platforms too. So you know, overall, we're looking pretty, we're looking pretty good over there with the fleet. Moving down this hallway, we're gonna find a like a little lab, maybe an office space somewhere you just want to go. You wanna, you wanna hang out, do some studying. You know, look out the window, watch the fleets and the planets in the background, which just looks stellar. This is your space, pretty much. It's just this one big long hallway that wraps around the entirety of the ship. And this is why I couldn't put the stellar extractors um, behind the refiners, which are somewhere over here, because it would have just like uh, interrupted these spaces and I didn't want that. So then another semi colorful bedroom. I'm gonna replace that flag with a proper wall hanging flag because it looks kind of goofy just stuck in the wall like that. Then, um, you know, some spray paint here and there. It's a little off center, but maybe this guy is cross-eyed and can't really tell when he's properly placing you know his paint down and then uh moving over here containers monitors windows so you can see out into space because what is space without windows we're not geth from mass effect we need windows so you can see the fleet from up here once again and it looks really cool okay so that's that area and as you can see we're on the other side of the ship now so 
this room right here leads to the combat uh, information center, pretty much where all of our fleets are. This is what that secret little door uh, was. Now, for the final part of the tour, I'll show you the two upstairs rooms. We've got two upstairs rooms that are still a bit of a work in progress. I'm sorry, not two, but three. I've moved all the storage to the top of the ship, which is totally a smart idea. Trust me, it works. I've just slapped more props all over the place to give it to more library. Again, this is a storage container room. I, there are a couple of servers in here. I don't really know why I thought it looked cool, but they're a little off center, so I might just delete that. And uh, yeah, this is this is the room, man. I painted it a nice gold color. I tried to make most of the rooms uh, or areas or sections of the ship a little bit more different from each other with different colors. So this one got a nice little gold, slapped a few monitors in a couple of different places. My alignment needs a bit of practice, but placing things properly in this game are difficult unless they literally snap next to each other. It can be a little annoying, but I'm, I'm making it work. I think this really looks good overall. It looks like some kind of storage room, storage facility. Uh, we do have to work in an engineering room, which has not been constructed yet, because again, everything requires silver. So when I do get that built, I'll make an update on it in the next video after this one. Some shelving, crates stored everywhere boxes etc now this area i thought came out really really cool too it's our gardening area pretty much where all of our plants and our plant guy who gives quests um is gonna be at i honestly thought it was gonna be a little lonely up here with just him but most of the crew seem to really like coming up to this area a lot like i see a lot of them in the storage room or just over here in the plant room so i'm glad to see they gravitated up here properly just got some plants growing in here it's a very uh atmosphere controlled room for all the different types of plants from all over the galaxy we got uh, everything looks really cool in here. I got some, uh, you know, some scaffolding here and they're trying to make it look like it's still under construction. Um, but I'm going to put a few more of these down, possibly. Maybe a couple on this side stretching out a little bit. But for the time being, this, this is what we're working with here. Try to get creative with some of the center prop placements, you know, put some plants all over the place. Uh, my plant collection is actually pretty, pretty terrible right now. We've only got this, this one. <laughs> it's a decorative plant. I thought it looked really cool. Uh, but overall, yeah, these are all the props that I have available. Also, we've unlocked pretty much most of them from the anomaly And I went on a bit of a hunt for freaking modules. I totally didn't kill any innocent people whatsoever in the process of this Trust me, but I did find an outlaw system with plenty of freighters to raid and no actual police forces So, uh, what's funny is in the outlaw systems I can pretty much attack most freighters like destroy a container or two and I, there's no response from their fighter forces I try to avoid killing the fighter forces too because they lower my standings with whatever faction the pilots are from so I avoid killing pilots as much as possible. With how upgraded my fighter is, my primary starfighter, I don't really need to kill the pilots because they're basically no threat to me anyway. But we've unlocked pretty much all the major rooms, all the expansion rooms. Uh, we've got a lot more pieces to work with for the overall construction of the ship. And it's just really, really uh, working out. So moving on over to this final room and I'll show you where this staircase leads. We've got our, you know, our galactic trade terminal. Just decided to throw them up here. But this is a little kitchen area that I'm working on. I actually completely and utterly stole this idea from Reddit. If I can find the post, the Reddit post, I'll uh, link it in the comments down below, I guess. But this is a little kitchen design that I kind of got from it and added a few of my own personal touches. I think it came out really nice. It looks like a kitchen. I've uh, got a stove, we've got a countertop. We just need a proper sink up here. Got a refrigerator. It's totally not a locker. I plan on uh, ditting, tidying this up a little bit, adding some more things. Uh, I wanted to add these really cool ornate tables up here. They look a little bit more nicer, more casual than a typical ship table that we had downstairs. So that's this area pretty much. And I think it turned out really, really well. So I hate when this thing stares at me sometimes. Going down to this staircase right here, we are back in the main hold. So if you want to go upstairs, go get something to eat. Just go up this staircase right here. Make a, what was it, a left? Yeah, make a left right here. Or if you want to go to this storage container area, you can go over here and then take the stairs down there. Um, I've tried to basically connect everything in the most sensible way uh, possible. The only thing that kind of sucks is the teleporter is in a bit of an awkward spot. So if I come back from a mission, uh, I'm all the way in this corner. Or if I come back from teleporting on to one of my frigates, I'm just in that corner again. It's kind of weird. I think my light placements for these were really good because we only have so many of these, you know, white squares in this hallway. So I plop one at the beginning of it and one at the end, and I think it looks honestly very symmetrical. You know, it, it looks like in the order it should be. So that's the freighter, all the updates we made to her. And uh, we'll take a look on the outside just to kind of see how many blocks we've got up here. Cause boy, oh boy, do we have a lot. Yeah, it's a little unorganized up top, unfortunately, 
but you don't see this block when you're on the outside of the freighter flying around thankfully this side is a little bit longer than this side over here for the crew quarters area unfortunately i didn't build that exactly symmetrical but i don't really think it'll matter in the long run thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed this short little video kind of showcasing uh what the freighter is looking like man in my no man's sky playthrough we got a large galaxy to explore and wait to see what we keep finding man i can't wait to keep building up the freighter we only have a few more upgrades left for it i guess i can show you whatever we've got left uh we've got all the upgrades basically for the ship itself that doesn't include rooms we still got to get all the warp drive upgrades uh so we can travel to other star systems with the freighter there's a net on my microphone we've got pretty much all the rooms unlocked we only need the appearance amount of fire room and then a couple of things for the exterior catwalks and whatnot but we'll get that eventually I don't really care about appearances in, in this game or in any video game, really. I don't really care about skins and all that shit and making my characters look a very specific way. I mean, I like my orange dude. He was red at first and I threw a little orange and black on him and that's pretty much about as far as I went with it. One of the funny things I think when it comes to me and science fiction, I'm very serious kind of about my sci-fi, you know? So, uh, that by the way, that's, that's literally it for all the upgrades. Like, that's all we need. We haven't gotten any other cool colors yet, but we'll get that eventually. When it comes to my fleet games and kind of when it comes to my strategy games my sci-fi games i'm unnecessarily serious sometimes <laughs> like all of my ships they all have really you know serious names state names i like this more than just naming my ships dumb things like with like the, the uss like big penis or something like i don't like naming all my ships or my troops or whatever i don't like in any video game i don't name my star systems weird things i don't name my ships weird things i take it way too serious but that's just because i love science fiction i like the, the, I like that aspect of science fiction. I take it serious. That's the freighter, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like on it. Sub to the channel for more No Man's Sky content, more gaming content. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you all. Peace.